The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Angel and the Psycho. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. And their partner from Japan, Man Nick Carl. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. Guys, it's now time for our mega three-on-three -three matchup. And, Michael, it'll be interesting to see how these two teams of three coexist. When you put in this many personalities on the same page, it's almost impossible to be on the same page 100% of the time. This should be great, guys, as we kick off this huge three-on-three -three contest. Guys, it'll be interesting to see if these two teams of three can really coexist. When you have that many egos on the same team, sometimes things don't go quite as planned. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. right to the back. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars have aligned because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful.
In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt... Look at this, Byron. She better do something fast. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Not stopping the leg! Just nasty. What's this, Corey? I think they're looking for the Romero special. Oh, no, it's it over. Be? There it is. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team... Whoa, impressive! You could say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Beautiful technique. Beginning to look bad for her here. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. Swing neckbreaker. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about faction. Looking for the win. This might be it. Oh, my. Nice. Shut it down. Harsh impact. She's looking at it. You've got to believe this one's over. There it is. Boom, impact. She's certainly looking good now, Cole. You're not going to get her that easy. She's a warrior, guys. Tagged in. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the... She might have it. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Oh, right to the body. That hurts. Victory is on the horizon. And Corey, she releases the hold. Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but... I'm sure she has something up her sleeve here, Cole. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag match. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. Oh! Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Uh-oh. Book in! Good oh, night. Booker stole the rock! And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. She's still in this one. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. 
but there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Oh, and a snap there! That'll give you whiplash. A knee right to the face! That knee is a lethal weapon. Here we go. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. She really needs to think about making a tag, guys. Given what she's been through in this match, she may very well be the oh, weak. Man. No! She breaks it! Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Oh, backing it up there! Oh, you know that hurt. She's got her back against the wall now. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. You know, when you step into the ring opposite three of the most dominant women on the roster today, things like this are bound... Sister Abigail! The succubus strikes again. She goes for the cover. What an amazing six-man tag match. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Look at her go. She's taking care of business. Man, this was great. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best Here in the business. Here are your winners, Angel the Psycho and Man Nick Carl. The shoulders were down for three, and this 